Hello guys and welcome back to another MoodyV tutorial. Today we will be talking about a, a webcam security program called Prime. Okay, so you can get it from. Hold on here, I just installed Cam Studio. So uh, just uh, Google Prime, P or Y M E, and hit enter. And then. Wait for this to load. Then go to the third link, primehelo.dk, and then for some reason this link doesn't work here. So what you have to do is either you can either uh, get the link from the left of onto the uh, left of the video in the description, or if you just want to do this, this one doesn't work. So what you have to do is go in English. Here it is, just under here. And then it works for some reason. Okay, so you just download it and uh, run the installer. I've already got it installed, so I'll just minimize this. So what you do is once when you um, get it, double click on the icon. And then I'll just shrink this window down again. Fish. Okay, hold on. My computer is a bit slow at the moment. Hmm. Oh, that's small. Anyway, so here you can see my um, uh, my front garden yet again. Okay, so go. I'll just turn this preview off because it's slowing it down. Okay, so go setup. Uh, profiles. You can make a new profile, so it'll save your settings. And you just go new and put the profile name in OK. Then just choose your profile, click OK. Then go setup, setup, capture options, choose your camera, and frame your frame rate. Uh, you can choose your picture quality. Yeah, there. And if you want to save the local pictures, bitmaps. Okay, so what this program does is it can either take pictures at a time capturing or motion detection and it can even save the pictures to a website and show pop up with stuff and all that okay so now what you want to do for motion detection is click motion detection choose your sensitivity I chose 50 uh, then you go to say there's like a tree, tree blowing in your garden or something and you don't want it to uh, keep um, activating the um, motion detection click define and then choose your area like you want motion detection to be active like don't cho choose away from the uh... what do you call it? tree yeah and then um... then once that's done sorry for the slowness here just first time doing a video capture on this computer Okay, I'll come back once I get this sorted out. Okay, I'm back. So, now, after you've chosen your, um, what do you call it? Defined area. You can choose it to have a fuse, which will, um, how long it'll wait when it sees motion before taking take a picture. I don't take that. Rearm after is good if you don't want it to be taking tons of pictures, because it it only takes a picture every one second when it sees motion. And then you can mark uh, images with a color, so that I'll show you that later. Then you can choose your color there. Okay, so picture caption you can choose. So when you when it takes a picture, you can you'll see down here. It has the date and time and when it was taken. Okay, so then you can you can see the stuff down there and how to do it. Okay, next, if you have a website, you can uh, put in your details there and it'll do it for you. Uh, where you um, then go over to uh, 
general and put in your um where you want the pictures to be saved oh and this can also um record video out when it sees motion you can load promise start up um start auto capturing when it starts so that when when you turn on your computer it will start automatically motion detecting uh clicking sound and create log file uh, okay so uh file names you can choose what the file names are whether they're the time and date every time and or you can choose it to be a name and then a number after it or just them all the same name which will overwrite the files okay so after you've done that what you just do is when you set all that up you can either go view and preview which I'm not going to do because it slows it down but it lets you see a live video feed here and you can go capture and then auto capturing so then now watch for what happens so it's auto capturing and when I put my finger in front of my webcam hold on and it should have taken a picture okay so I've saved it to go into my oh and when you um when you um uh, minimize the program it goes down to your taskbar down here sorry for the slowness uh goes down to your taskbar here down here the P so you can open it from here okay so now what I've done is I've set it to go into my CCTV folder on my desktop and uh, I think I put it under kitchen or was it in there? yeah uh, I don't think you took a picture that time because I'm recording a video but as you can see um here, this is one I took earlier, but when I took earlier, well, the other day actually. But you can see here that um, it highlights the uh, areas that motion was detected, so you can tell what was detected. Okay, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching MutiV tutorials.